Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Well, I haven't said that in a hot minute. Uh, it's been a very hectic year, and a hectic year for many of us. Uh, for me, I've been working as a teacher and going to grad school, and it's a lot on my plate. And let's face it, the world's a crazy place nowadays, there's no denying it. And since I have some downtime this semester, I thought, let me get back into the swing of things. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to make a bunch of unboxing videos, get back into the rhythm of making these videos and having fun, and hopefully offering all of you at home some escapism and entertainment. So these videos won't be as in-depth as my normal reviews, where I zoom in on everything. Uh, these videos are going to focus more on the box and what's inside of it. Hopefully, the uh, free time continues and I could keep making this for all of you because I miss it. I miss making videos. I miss talking to all of you. And enough of me blabbering. Let's get started with today's video. So today, we're looking at the unboxing of the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 4 A-Wing, released in 2023. This thing looks amazing. Yes, it's, you know, kind of small, but... You know, it was small in the movies as well. I love the design of the original A-Wing. I think it looks great. So, let's take a look at this box, open it up, and then we'll see what comes inside. All right, let's take a look at this box, shall we? So, let's get started at the bottom. We have our title, number 79, Micro Galaxy Squadron. Looking nice and chrome. 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. We have our A-Wing pilot. Looking good, and that ship looks fantastic. I love the molds on the Micro Galaxy Squadron ships. Very neat. There's from the side. Looking good. The other side. And the top. You can see some vehicles on the bottom for the art, which looks great. On the top, we have Star Wars, Choker and Hazard, and on the side, Series 4. Now, the artwork on here is really cool. Looks like a scene from the Battle of Endor. Pretty nice. We'll take a better look once I open it up. How's that? Because it's hard to see with uh, all the objects and the plastic here. On the bottom. Just copyright crap. In the back. We have again, Star Wars R logo. Opening cockpit. Landing gear. Which looks awesome. The collector card, which I cut all these out. Don't really know why, but I just love keeping them. Pretty cool, I like this schematic look. And on the bottom we have other pieces that we can get or find. We have a TIE Interceptor, Vulture Droid, I have these. Then we have our chases for this line. Oh boy, Emperor's Guard TIE Fighter. And then we have a Land Speeder with Luke and Obi-Wan. I don't have these at all, but I do have many chases, so pretty interesting. So, how about we crack this bad boy open? Okay, really don't want to... Well, I guess the artwork's going. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I can only get one take at this. There we go. You can see some of the fighters there. <sighs> sorry about that. But it ain't like a normal video where I can... Uh, you know, just edit everything out and make it perfect because you only get one shot at opening it up. Here's the bottom artwork, which is pretty nice looking. So let's move this away. And here we have our ship section, which looks pretty cool. And we have our pilot.
Having a closer look at the pilot, it features seven different colors, including dark green, dark gray, gray, white, blue, black, and skin tone. It weighs about 0.49 grams. It stands one inch tall, or about 2.5 centimeters. And I love the detailing on here, especially on the helmet and the uh, chest apparatus. All the little straps and hoses are there. It looks great. Now it does have some moving parts. The arms can go all the way up, which looks great. And then it could also bend at the hips or the waist. So that way you can fit them in the cockpit. Pretty dope. Really great looking figure, very detailed. Now to get this out, I recommend scissors. And easily like that. Having a closer look at the A-Wing, this bad boy comes in at 3.9 inches long, or 10 centimeters, and features six different colors, including tan, gray, maroon, dark gray, yellow, and black. I do believe it would have looked a little better with a nice black wash, just to fill in the panel work, lines, and all that stuff, but it is what it is, and it does still look pretty darn good. It features an opening cockpit, landing gear, and sadly, the cannons do not rotate, but it still looks phenomenal. For its weight, which is something new I'm going to add, it's 16.75 grams. All in all, a great looking piece. To open up the cockpit, use your nail and there's a little groove. Just slide your nail in there, pull up, and the cockpit will open. Now this gives you access to put in your figure inside. So you can see that there's two little grooves where the pilot's legs go in. It's really tricky. So take your time and you're gonna slide the feet under and then push the figure in. It's actually very secure, close the canopy, and just like that, you're good to go and it looks great. And that does it for the unboxing of the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 4 A-Wing, released in 2023. Before I conclude the video, I do wanna say, during my leave of absence, if you will, uh, there has been an Instagram page devoted to the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron line. And because of that individual who runs the page, I was able to get almost the whole entire line. I'm missing some variants here and there in some of those uh, blind box vehicles. But for the main line and uh, exclusives, I have almost all of them. And it's thanks to this individual. Uh, I really recommend checking out their page. I'll put a photo of it like right here but I really recommend checking them out or giving him a follow. He posts when items are gonna be up for pre-order if he has the information. He has checklists of different waves and series. And there's also reviews and hacks that go on with some great pictures as well. So please go check him out. Uh, I promised him with all the help he's been giving me that I would give a shout out. He doesn't really know me, at least I don't think he does, but you know, I'm a man of my word. So yeah. Thumbs up to that dude. But back to my little unboxing video. This is the first one I did. I know I stumbled here and there, but I tried to give you guys a, a good experience, some entertainment and escapism. This piece is fantastic. I love the mold on here very much. The paint, you know, generic A-Wing, 
I love it. I wish it had a, a little bit of black wash to fill in the lines and nooks and crannies. Uh, give it that dirty used look it had in the films. But on the whole, I dig it. I think it looks great and I can't wait to do an in-depth review. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my content. I greatly appreciate it and I hope to see you all next time. Bye everybody.